Space Launcher is a Nintendo game, guys. We're playing a Nintendo game. There's a cease and desist Space coming. Space Launcher. Look at the uh, the uh, the Tie Fighters. Where was the cease and desist on that? Of like, that's very clearly. That's very clearly. They got Wars. antennas. <laughs> that's the that's difference. <laughs> There's some really interesting. I, I watched a retrospect of uh, a, a company, uh, Retro Studios. They are the company that made the Metroid Prime game. Okay. And it was a full history on them and all of the games that they were making that uh, never came out. They were working on a uh, Heroes of Hyrule Zelda game. Oh, speaking of that, I got the biggest news for. You guys, and for you, today, Miyamoto, Shigeru Miyamoto, actually announced they are doing a live-action Zelda movie. This Whoa. isn't a prank. This isn't any of the other stuff that usually happens. This, from the top guy, Nintendo, basically, he's the mascot of Nintendo. Sure. That's awesome. They already have a director, so I'm really interested in that. But I'm he's surprised in Star Link. That's the thing. We got to start... You want alt tab? Oh yeah. Um, what's the score on this space launcher? Seven thousand one fifty. All right. Um, I don't know. What what do you what do you guys think should be? Who should play as Link? He's got to be young. And what about Princess Zelda? Uh, Dark's got some uh, strange feedback going on. We'll see you soon, dude. We'll see you soon. Um, yeah, I mean, who do you play as uh, Princess Zelda? That's also one of the... Or who do you play as Gandalf? Not Gandalf, um... Ganon. Ganon. That was close, that was close. I mean... Yeah, zip on through there. Okay, there's no shooting. You just got the shield. And Is that 200? Yeah, I remember playing this. Alright, good so far. Oh! Oh, I got smashed on the side here. But that was really big news. I'm surprised I didn't hear from music today immediately when that happened. But I'm actually not really surprised that I, I don't hear from him very often anymore anyway. Yeah. But I thought for sure with a Zelda announcement that I was going to hear from him. Get something. Launch back down to Earth. Whoa, that was, uh, that was narrow. Alright, I'm going for- I already think I already beat my score. Alright, off to a good start here, guys. I might- will I beat the top score here on my first turn? Oh, I'm close, because yours is 7,000 something. Woo, that was real sketchy. And we get some extra time to play this one too. Oh, oh. cheap shot. 7,900. Check Let's it see. out, check it out, and see if this is going to be it. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here with I scored. We're going to uh, check out what the high score is. Here's 13. But I did beat my score. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got 13,000 even. It seems a little sus, but I don't know. No, not really. I mean, it's it's done at 50 points, so. 7,900. 7,900. Where's the shield button? There's no shield button. The first, the first button makes you go faster. Get the shield as you approach them closer. 200? Get the fuck out of here. 
All right, let's uh let's keep this moving. Let's look up. Let let's. Why aren't you staying open? Oh, app? kick you! Your app is absolutely the worst. Like I'm sorry, your app sucks so bad right now. Let's look up some some fun details, guys, on space launcher. It's obviously pre Donkey Kong for sure. Did you know Sega? Oh. Sega made a game in 1968. One of the first games ever. Are these scores changing on me? Yeah, they they change randomly. Whoa! Hit that 200. Yeah, boy. Do your dirt. Let's get dirty. Whoa! Get away from me! Get away from me! So they're saying this is more like Frogger, which I can see. Sure. Uh, but it's not a clone. Uh. It's not a clone of Frogger because Frogger came out two years after this game. So, who ripped off who? I'll let you be the judge. I did not beat my high score on that, but I'm okay with that. I got aggressive. I got aggressive with that turn. I feel. Hey, like Kim, how's it going? Yo, sup, Kim? Uh, we're doing high score roulette. Uh, there's the wheel behind us. We landed on Space Launcher. We're only doing two games. Now that we've gotten through the high score list, uh, we're going to spend more time with the games. Uh, obviously, we'll be playing NBA Jam at the end of the night. Yeah. Uh, as well, because we need to get through. We don't. We haven't played the next team. We haven't played at all. Sure. We won, and then that we just left on a high note. But it took us a it took us a couple tries to even get to that point. So as we've been uh, beating teams, it's getting exceedingly more difficult. There's a uh, more cheap shit. Oh, it's okay. You got second life. Second life. We're just gonna keep the missile launching, bro. Just keep that missile launching. Oh, why would I do that? I thought straight I could, into it. I could get around it, is what I thought. And I was I'm trying to asleep. juke, but your movement just wasn't there, buddy. You don't move nearly as fast as you think you do. There's this uh, Canadian song that goes, Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Oh, fuck yeah. One of the lyrics is goes something with a car of like, How fast is your car? Not fast, but fast enough. That's how I feel about this game. Which gives no one any context. What? As to I anything. hit it from the front. Yeah, the roulette edition. Yeah. We're gonna. Uh, we might do more of these, honestly, of like to, to go through randomly of like select a high score challenge. Oh yeah, this is so so pre streaming. This is the only way we ever played high score. Yeah. Was with that's why we have the roulette. That's how I always played it. Uh, it. It made it because people felt like, oh, I don't like this game. If I'm like, hey, do you want to play this? But if they accidentally spun on it and landed on it, then they're still going to play. All right, well, yeah, it's the roulette wheel. Sometimes I'm going to win. Sometimes I don't. Right. But it got. That's why there's games that have scores with multiple people that never would have. Was the roulette wheel? Uh, yeah, we're going to be expanding uh, our <coughs> stream types as well. Uh, for instance, we'll be playing, you know, unreleased oh, games. Oh, what? Uh, we're going to be doing, like, what? you know, the top weird Game Boy games. Uh, forgotten classics on the NES. The Wheel of Indecision. Yep. Whoa, that was close. And people that know me well enough know I like random. You want to put on a specific fucking music video? Fuck you. It's on <laughs> random, right? Everything I do is random. You gotta get hip hop country? And well, it's, not country. it's not because I'm here. trying to make it where I don't want to hear or play somebody else's thing. It's because I have always done that because I'm so indecisive that I end up not doing anything because I can't choose. So having the random just be like, at least I get to play some games or at least I get to listen to something. Because if not, sit there. sit there. You should see me on Netflix. Sometimes I don't even watch a movie because the entire two hours was me deciding <laughs> between all of the streamers. I'm like, well, this one, that one. I just finally did watch Blue Beetle. Okay. Which was good. I mean, it was... 
Oh. It was good. It was good. Definitely good for DC. Overall, yeah, a normal superhero oh. movie. I do Tanked. like the Latino vibe. Obviously, it's yeah. all, all, all about that. Uh, it, it was it was well done. Susan yeah, Sarandon like, was the was the villain, which yeah. was interesting. Uh, but everything else was the very standard fare, where it's like I accidentally get these powers, of finding out these powers. Like it's just like right. the same beat for beat. So the only thing that made it unique is that which obviously Hollywood needs to do more of is showing, you know, Latinos, you know, Asians, blacks, blacks yeah, whatever, like everybody, yeah. man, yeah. of like, no, because those are unique stories. Those are, those are interesting perspectives. And I want to see that Yeah. when it's all whitewashed all the time. Of like, no, nah, man, that's not America. That doesn't represent yeah. the totality of everybody that's here. And everyone has a different experience. So uh, it's like my opinion of Candyman. Uh, I love the Candyman horror franchise. Of like, I think it's actually pretty great. Of like, no, it, it, it expels like some of the concerns that that people have. Of like, I know Jordan Peele was executive producer on uh, on the reboot of Candyman, and I've been pretty critical about that. But rewatching through all three of those movies, no, I think I've, I think I was overly critical on the reboot. I just feel like they tried to do too much of like trying to pass Candyman on to like someone new and doing like some of these other elements in the Why? movie which was uh you know if, if they had more time and they, they extended the movie i think that's what would have made it better just because then they could have explained it a little bit more in detail instead of having it kind of like just smashed all at the end of like 30 minutes but that's that's my only argument other than that you should go see it i think the uh, i think the new candy man movie is good i, th I think it's good it's sure, sure shit way better than a lot of Hellraiser movies are of like, if there's going to be a reboot, I would like to see another they Hellraiser. Did one. Yeah, how many reboots is it? Uh, that's the only reboot. All the rest oh yeah, of yeah, the they're, they're the female one, which yeah. I haven't seen. I haven't seen yeah. that one yet. Yeah, so that is a reboot. I don't know if it's retelling of the first story or maybe it's one of those ones where they take elements from different movies, you know? Sure. Nope, nope. No. That was close, but you're getting there, 8,000, 8,000. Keep it up, boy. Yeah, dude. 9,000. No! Why? See, I got a free life somewhere, though. Get that 500. Get it. Yeah. I, okay, How? you, because I moved to the side, I moved before I went out. So if you move yeah. left and right, you're going to smash into the sides. Duh. You're still in and docked, I did it multiple times. I think you still beat your high score. 10,850. 10,850. Creeping on up. Creeping on up to the sky. 10,850. 10, no, it's important. It's important. Ooh, whoop. All right, back to space launcher history, guys. That's all I got was that. So this does predate Donkey Kong, as this game was came out in 1979. 1980 was Donkey Kong. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm slowly. What the dodge? Oh, I died by the alien. Whoa, that was too close. So this does not have a Wikipedia page. Sounds like it's a story that should be told. People must know. This game exists. It exists on the internet, so it is... Am I gonna make 300? There we go. So uh, this arcade sketchy. game by Nintendo was surprisingly original because in the 70s, Nintendo was known to just make clones of other arcade games. Sure. Because they didn't have a very good start. Like, Nintendo was initially a card company, if y'all didn't know. Yeah. And they uh, they sold a lot of uh, cards to the Yakuza in gambling. Uh, but they made Maybe that's why they're so family-friendly now. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they never want they never wanted it to be gambling, but the thing is, is that it became gambling because of these cards, and they catered to that. 
because that's where the money was was coming in at. But they never wanted to do that. They they wanted to be a simply uh, a game family company always, always. Yeah, and they they started like 1899. Like yeah. they're not a new company. By no, either thing. But if you've if you've been a company that long, there's gonna be some something dark in your history. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, just like uh. just like now we have a Bowser. Uh, that runs Nintendo. Nintendo. What? I didn't even see that bullet. Shot it as you were. Oh! Shut down! Alright. Pizza parlor game. Absolutely. Absolutely. If you guys notice that there's a lack of music, that's because that's what this game is. Of like, they're, they're, they didn't include a music track on this. This is this is it. This is the game. This is it, it into its completion. It's just sound effects and like and you taking a missile. Oh, oh you got no. suckled. They suckled on you. So, Kim, I finally uh, completed uh, Cocaine Bear, and uh, yeah, awesome movie. I gotta say, pretty rad. Yes, the doctor saying of like he was stationed uh, overseas, and pizza parlors was uh, where nerds used to hang out before uh, consoles and whatnot. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's where you'd go, uh, you know, hang out and play some vid games. Video games. I don't know, Dark, did they, did they sell beer at those pizza parlors, or, or was it just pizza and, like, sodas? I'm sure I'm that they had some beer. Well, some places, some of them had beer. I'm just curious as to the way the, uh, the business models yeah, have Yeah, did they, any of them call themselves Barcade? Because <laughs> then we're going to bring that up in court. Build a case. Well, just to get theirs, um, just to get their copyright taken out. That's all I care about. Their trademark, yeah. Yeah. Because there's other, there's other places that should easily be called barcades. So me I'm and like, Granny Goodness were talking about this, um, and I think Dark can relate. Uh, obviously, we, she's never had to deal with any of the uh, HOA issues that, that he has. But, you know, she doesn't like... I, I've never actually heard anything good about HOA ever in my life. Nobody's had good experience with them. But yeah. I was like, we should come up with a plan to become the head of HOA, right? So for any <laughs> goodness becomes it, and then you dissolve it, which you can do. It's legally in Colorado, you can dissolve, and it doesn't take very much. But you got to be the one in power to do it. I'm like, wouldn't that be the best? Your, your life's goal is to dissolve the <laughs> HOA from within. No, but there's some good that HOAs do, too. Of like, that most of them don't, because it's who runs it. It doesn't yeah. matter what... It, it, it's there, like, do you know if you if you read up on communism, communism isn't all that bad. But the thing is, is that they treat communism as a dictatorship, <laughs> and that's why it doesn't work out very well. And we've had the issues that we've had every single time somebody has tried to use it. Dark says, uh, HOA, horribly ornery ace assholes. I think you can curse on her chat. I don't think yeah. I don't think it'll get censored for that. I mean, we are we're the ones who changed it, so we're the ones we, we yeah. have to set it up. All right, well, I did it. Seventeen thousand guys is the new score. Seventeen thousand. Yeah. yeah, cocaine bear. Long live cocaine bear. Of like that movie is awesome. Of like I'm not gonna. Yeah, you, you won the uh, the high score. The long live cocaine bear. Of like that movie was. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got a little bit of everything. Got a little bit of drug usage. It's got a little bit of a bear action. You've got, uh, you know, drug dealers. You got uh, family dynamics and the dynamics between Ray Lieto is in this movie. Of like, movie. yeah, it was the last movie before he died. God rest his soul. But yeah, that's that. That's gonna be our life goal. I don't care. Do you know hundred. that the places and there are plenty of places that don't have an HOA. Do you know that those places still exist just fine? Yeah. 
without him. There is the, I don't care, let people do what the hell they want. If you want to make an issue about it, make an issue about it. But, you know, that if I'm living in Florida, I want pink flamingos on my, in my yard. You know what I'm saying? And I might actually retire somewhere in Florida, like... So every oh. place that I lived, I didn't even know HOA was a thing because there's not a lot of them in California. And uh, where we lived, every single house was my turn. completely different. Right? You could tear it down and build your own fucking house, whatever you want. Nobody nice. cared. Nobody cared. And I think a lot of that had to do with that there's so limited space there. Sure. That if you started forcing people to do specific things, it would create a huge issue. But yeah, I never had... The, my dad, who is all about any type of uh, groups of people, uh, neighborhood watch type of thing, all that stuff, always was for it. And we had a bunch of issues at the place I grew up when I was in high school. And uh, he had to join the board. That's the only way he could to, to change it. Huh. They were like trying to find because if they found a cigarette butt, because the lady that was in charge of the HOA didn't like it, this young punk kid. Just, she never, I never did anything to her. So if she found a cigarette butt anywhere near our building, it had to have been mine. So she's just finding my dad right off the bat. Oh my god, like, that's horrible. Cigarettes, I didn't like times I didn't even smoke. So yeah, like my dad like got the HOA, got joined the board, got her kicked off, and then I almost never saw her any time after that. Like she was just, she would, I don't know, if she timed any time she'd leave her, because she lived right next door to us. Sure. Never saw her again. <laughs> I was, my dad felt really good about that. As, I, as you should. Right. He did it from within. And that's our plan. What? All right, 17,000 guys, and again, on a turn, and this is a common thing where I wasn't really paying attention, I was uh, more interested in what I was saying. So, and there it goes. Yeah, and your first, and your first, uh, first taste of it isn't great. I've never been like somebody, but in... You know the people that are the ones that are worse are people that wanted some sort of power in life, right? And they never could get it anywhere, so they, they join a board and that's what they do. Or it's really old people that their family are dead and they don't have any friends and they have nothing to do but be know them. Right? We have two neighbors like that, we're cool with the neighbors, but literally that's all they do. Did you see that car that pulled up at 2.30 in the morning? No! No, I got a life! I, I was asleep! What are you doing, crazy And the lady? lady that says that is blind. Yeah. She has a magnifying glass on her fucking iPad. When it's like two inches from her. It's so funny. It's a funny scenario. But I learned really quickly, we had another roommate that would always get in it with those people. And so they were always looking at us, seeing what we're doing. Yeah. Right? Is Don't there something that. they could do? No. You kill them with kindness. Yeah, you just be... I sit there. You've seen. Yeah. I've sat out there. I don't care about any of that crap. But I pretend to. Because I know Hooney is definitely not watching our stream. All right, so we got a story you know, that uh, Kim said her last house, the HOA, was ridiculous. It was like a horror movie. Just strange people running, running it. Outrageous money every month. Then they changed us all 20% each roof place. All our roofs that happen here. We were all uh, uh, outvoted. Like they bullied old people to vote in so wrong I moved. Yeah, that's more, that's what I'm saying. I want to hear one positive story because yes, the idea of pulling that money together for trash and all these and other things. And snow removal. That Especially all makes sense. Snow but guess removal what? for that's, people, for sure. But guess what? Last time it snowed, no snow removal. Do you think that they've come and got our leaves or done anything negative? That's what I was telling Granny Goodness. You need to go in there because they're saying that they're going to up our rates. You're not using the money that we already give you because we don't. they don't even pay for trash anymore. We do. So, like, no, I don't think so. And I was like, the only way you're going to have any power is they, they sent this uh, letter to everybody saying they're going to have somebody that represents each building. And Laughlin's like, no. I was like, no, cross that out. You need to be that person. Right. You can't bitch and moan if you're uh. not doing anything about If you're not involved in the process, you can't bitch and moan. Because then you're just bitching. That was just random. <coughs> I just want to... 
In my life, I can I, I I could die happy if I dissolve one HOA in my life. That's it. <laughs> that could happen in our own lifetime. Well, me doing it. That's what I'm saying. It could yeah. happen in our well, lifetime. Well, it is. I mean, I'm I'm gonna. We already we already planned. Oh, I should have gone seeds. left or right. Whatever. That 500. And that's why in movies that take place in the suburbs, they've used HOA. Uh, as a, an aggressor all the time because they know that's something that everybody can relate to. <laughs> These are quick turns, man. All right, seventeen. I'm gonna. My new goal is twenty. I gotta break thirteen thousand. I'm getting close to matching, but I'm just not not quite there yet. Just not quite there yet. No way! No. Oh, Yeah, wow. Dark says that uh, Denver is one of the worst HOA cities in the yeah. country, yeah. Uh, there's some places in Florida that are like that, too. Oh, for sure, for sure. And that's because, like, I mean, especially places where it's typically elderly people. Yeah, they just take A lot of those people are pissed off. You get that old, a lot of people are pissed. They're they're, they're sick, they don't feel well, their loved they're, ones are dead, whatever, you right. know. They have a lot to be upset about, which I understand, but don't take it out on everybody else. Well, dude, that have one of those like sexy senior places, you know, <laughs> where they're hooking up and backstabbing. That's like a thing. I had a friend who worked at a, a, a retirement home, and you'd be like, "There's," she's like, "It's more like a high school than it is. People are banging each other and all kinds of crazy shit." Have fun. At least you, it's the end of your life. Why? Why be angry? I think I'd want something peaceful. Quiet and slow. I want to live, you know, like, live my life loud when I'm young, but when I get older, I want to be able, hopefully, you know, I, I, I still have good eyesight to where I can, uh, I can read books, and I can, uh, spend my days in quiet meditation. That sounds boring as fuck to some people, but that sounds awesome to me of, like, I don't, I don't have to work, I can just study, and I can just be left alone. Well, I don't want to be totally alone. Hold, hold on here. I, I love having friends. I love having social engagement. That's one of the like things that terrifies me. terrifies me of like getting up there of like eighty or ninety years old. All your friends are dead. Your family's dead. You got no one. Oh, so you you become the leader of the HOA. <laughs> you become the leader of the HOA. Then you hate life. Oh man, this turn sucks. So for me, is the opposite. I grew up with very uh, progressive grandparents. They typically hosted uh, quite often parties at the house. Not super loud, but you know, they play some music. They're, they were loud because there's a lot of Italians. <laughs> um, they went to bowling every Tuesday. They went to Vegas. They never, they didn't care if stuff was loud. Like if I played loud music, they didn't, they were so progressive compared. So when other people are like, oh, yeah, my grandma never let me do this. I always thought growing up that was weird to me because I had grandparents that they're like, we want to still go out and do stuff, go see new movies, go to concerts. Obviously they weren't seeing like new concerts, but they were like, you know, right. whoever they grew up with or that was still around. The Rolling Stones! That's a real thing, I mean. Yeah, no, yeah. And it, and uh, it, it always... It always, it was very much, a lot of that era, there was a big group of people growing up that stayed together and they joined whatever groups, whether it be a religious group like Knights of Columbus or Bowling League or whatever. And those people were lifelong friends and got together <laughs> all of the time. Kim says, no way, give me the Raver Swinger yes, retirement community. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. I'm on my way out anyway. I mean, I'd be okay with experimenting with drugs at that point of like... Yo, Why do I always do that? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna get hooked on heroin and die? What, at 85? Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna still say you died of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I might be on fucking oxycodone or whatever because my body may be all fucked up. It's weird when you see some, you hear about somebody that dies and that's like 35 and they say natural causes. There ain't nothing natural about dying at 35. 
I don't know if, like, it could happen. You, you could just have a weak heart and just bad genetics. It's a possibility. Then you it's died a of a heart defect. That's not natural causes. You didn't die. Natural causes to me is old age. No, fair enough, fair enough. I see what you're you saying. You naturally get old. Like, every, anything else. Like, if a heart attack after a certain age makes sense to you. Right. And I hope that doesn't happen. I don't hope that for anybody. Man, I had really bad indigestion the other night, and I thought I was having a heart attack. You ever <laughs> had indigestion like that? Yeah, where it's, it's just like You're like, is this what a heart attack is? And then, like, I, like, hit up my dad who's had a heart attack, and he's like, no. When you have a heart attack, you don't question if it's a heart attack. Now, yes, sometimes people do have really minor ones. Sure. But, like, typically, when you have a heart attack, you know it's a fucking heart attack. You ever had a tube pulled out of you? Yeah, in every which way. Oh, it's painful. I had this uh, abscess uh, staph infection what? one time. What? Yep. We're getting low scores, bud. We gotta. As Ben on HOAs, uh, in 1986, they passed the first ever Fair Housing Act. Uh, it was not until three years later that the U.S. Department, uh, USDOJ, passed the federal FHA. Colorado still gives three times the damages if you win the court case. So we can say racket. Yeah. Here, you want to hear something crazy though? So here we are. We're not at a house, right? We're 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 at a condo which is connected to something else. It's more house no, than no. it is a part. Yeah. So here's what's really crazy. So Granny Goodness doesn't just pay for Falcon Point, our area. She also plays two other HOAs. She has three. So she has one that is for Lowry, right? To live in Lowry, there's an HOA. And that's basically just to be the upkeep of the park. I'm like, all right, fine. And it's like once a quarter. And okay. then she has another one. I can't remember what it is, but she doesn't know what they do. And that's $90 a month. That's also another Lowry. Don't dox yourself, by the way. Huh? Don't, don't give too much details about exactly where you're at. Falcon Point in Denver, Colorado. <laughs> I don't fucking care. You, you're paranoid. Yes, I'm I am paranoid. paranoid. I am definitely not paranoid. I am paranoid. Nobody is going to do nothing. Ever. No, I actually, speaking of scams, I actually had somebody that tried to be a person that I worked with at my last job and literally signed the text message saying that they were them. But I never worked with that person. They just worked there. And was like, hey, can you go down to the grocery store and get me two uh, $500 Apple cards? Yeah, you're gonna need to come up with a better scam. <laughs> right. Unless you go fuck off. It fuck is off. a scam. That's why we're fuck trying off. to off. God that, damn it. That's why we're trying to dissolve the most uh, the most important one. It ain't nobody in our area is on our street. Believe me. <laughs> a lot of people. So we have mostly either elderly people or people uh, from from Africa. Uh, we have they have their own little area where all of them live on that side, and they hate the HOA a lot. I'm they sure don't they like, do. Yeah, they don't like. It. So I was like, that's who we're gonna team up with because we've always been friendly with them. We're not like the other uh, semi-racist neighbors that don't like them. Have you ever talked to those people? I just don't like them. Oh. I'm like, okay, all right. That sounds like a 1940s answer. <laughs> I just, I just don't like them. What about them do you not like? Uh, their existence. <laughs> Pretty much. They play loud music and dance a lot in the parking lot. Oh, those people are the quietest. Absolutely. Yeah, Most speaking, of them, yeah. like, are, they work Uber or taxi, you know, very much uh, easier for people that may, uh, may not be in this country legally. Or if you don't speak English, nobody cares if your Uber driver does. Yeah, right. Um, so I told them, and those people, they're super nice. They've always been very nice to us. They keep to themselves. They don't really do anything. It's like the minimum you have to do as an Uber driver of like, learn Christian names. Why? Because most of the time that's going to fare, fare out pretty yeah. well for you. Of like, or Hi, names. how are you? Like the basics that you would learn if you're in another country. Are like you pleasantries? The, are you this person? I'm saying baseline. You don't not even pleasantries. Are you such and such? Dad has no of? time for pleasantries if he's an Uber driver. No, he I just I, pretends he's from another country. He's from Denmark. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no English. 
got some Danish names. I can't think of one Danish name. Not one. Give us, come on chat, give us a Danish name. Give us a Danish name. Yeah. Dark saying, don't move to Denver if you don't like corruption. Yeah. Whoa! No! I was thinking about corruption and it got me. It got me. Alright, I'm starting to settle out with a couple of bad turns. I'm starting to settle myself into the, uh... Oh! I had to say something, because if you say it out loud, people are like, if I say it out loud, it's true. Yes, it's the opposite of whatever you said is true. Alright, you're up. I'm trying to keep mine higher than you. Vigo Mortison! Vigo? Yeah. He's, uh, Aragon, Aragon in, uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's, if that, I mean, he maybe is. He was also me. in that really cool movie. Oh my god. This movie's like fucking super dark. I can't remember what it is. I'm gonna look up his IMDB for my own personal. Alexander Von Broughton. That's what Dark said. That could, that could have been your name. That Alexander could've. Von Bruton. Could have been named that. That's uh, that's a real thing. My parents could have just been like, you know what? You know what's a good name? Von Bruton. We want that. Yeah, even if that's not our last name, we're, just, we're, we're giving you a different last name. <laughs> that's like a big, I don't like my child if you do that. He's got a rather large head. Such a large, large head. It's like History of Violence. I didn't even, I just needed to open up IMDb. Have you ever seen that? History of Violence? Yeah, Sounds familiar. Uh, some Soren? No, 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 no. All right, got 4,000. Uh, what? Every time, dude. Every time. What's the difference between a Danish person and a Dutch person? Is I mean, it's not the beginning of a joke. I'm just really asking. Is there a difference? Or does it just mean the same thing? I don't know. I'm asking. Is there, Are they two different things, or are they the same? If you're Dutch, you're from Denmark, right? Right. If Whoa. you're Danish, are you from Denmark? Tell us, chat, what is the difference between those two, or are they just two words that mean the same? And what's that? That's called something, too. What's that called? Tell us! <laughs> tell us all of these things. We need to be... He needs to get educated now. He can't wait until he's 85. No, I will, <laughs> I'll forget at that point. My memory's already shot. I forgot what I even ate today. That's not true. I, I do remember. One's from uh, Dutchland. The other is from uh, the, uh, the bakery. <laughs> the Dutch bake. You died! Twice! In a row. One is just by sitting. They're just standing there. Wow. I got 10,000. Even. All right, we got one more each before you do your roll, and we move on to our second game. Sounds good. Sounds good. Here's, uh, I'm going to get the highest. I'm going to get that 20,000 here, guys. 20,000. Right now, I need total concentration for this. Dutch is Netherlands. Ah, uh, Kim believes. Oh, okay. She believes or she knows? Because I'm sorry, when somebody gives me an answer and they say that's what I believe, I don't take that as fact. I feel like that's something very Googleable. Like it is, like, but we're, we're not in a Googleable scenario. No, we're not. Right? Like otherwise, my head's gonna be in the phone. Of like, you guys are gonna be disconnected from my shining beard. Not even my face anymore. My face. I'm starting my beard. beard. You can see I'm. It's, yeah. it's, it's that time of year. I started it. Uh, now I have to wear a hat because I was. I shaved my head too. It was an accident anyway. But um, my head is always cold. I haven't had this less of hair for like ten years. You ever done no shave November? Someone asked me if I was gonna participate with no no shave November, and, and I just. Ask them, have you have you seen me? Are, yeah. Do you look at me? <laughs> Does it look like I shave? <laughs> Let me be doing trimming. Yeah, I'm... 
All right, so you confirmed it on Google. Now I believe it. Statement is correct. That's right. a fact. But the language dance, uh, D A N S K. What what country is that from? Is that is that Danish or is that the Netherlands or is it both? I know they could share language. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know much uh, that, that side of uh, Europe and whatnot. Well, because they don't really do anything bad, so you don't see them in the news. They're just mind their own business, so it's not a place that we really are going to hear about a lot. You know what I'm right. saying? It's just like there's certain states that I forget are states, and so you happen to hear somebody's from there or whatever. I'm like, oh, like yeah. Arkansas. No, that one. When was the last right time you thought about Arkansas? Uh, Any time of Clinton's name. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I th I'm thinking more like Rhode Island or... Vermont? Vermont, for sure. Like, what happens in Vermont? Days in Vermont, obviously. Because nothing happens in Vermont. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was a bad scenario to be in. Last turn. Your last turn. Alright, last turn, guys. Can I beat my high score? Mr. Brightside already killed it, killed my high score, so I am no longer reigning champ on this game. But can I beat my high score? That's what's important here. Can I improve? So far, haven't been able to cut the mustard. We need to have a moderator whose job is just to look at, uh, even though we don't have enough fuel for a moderator, that <laughs> all their job is is to monitor kick. Because my app is just constantly closing. Last time I had kick open, my phone just stayed on. Like, it didn't dark, go dark or whatever, but it keeps doing that because that's she said it's dangerous. Whatever your question is. Uh, so dance. Yeah. The dangerous. language dance. is dangerous. Which we just learned, but I'm not thinking about that right now. 200 is the uh, best I can do. I'm really trying to shoot for, uh, above 1300 here, guys. No! Well, you already got more than 1300. You want 13,000 or more. Yeah, 13,000 or more. Excuse my language. My mathematics. Uh, Kim says she knows that because bold beat is needed. Oh, okay, yeah. They have a few songs in their native language. I've seen them live. They're actually really good live. And you, but you didn't know that about them. I'm revoking your concert from your history. <laughs> if, is anybody They're watched? at Knotfest, dude. I'm like, what can I say? I was there for Slipknot, and they just happened to open for Slipknot. That um, damn, Died that anyway. Um, yeah, that death just made me forget what I was going to say. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna ask, has anybody seen that show upload? Damn it! So, the show's on Netflix, it's a comedy show. Nope. Well, there's got a little drama to it as well. Uh, I'm gonna finish this thought real quick before we go to the thing. So, uh, it's basically when you die, you're uploaded to this, basically, this, like, afterlife. And okay. It's like this hotel and stuff. It's, like, super funny, like, the char like the AI is just, like, that shit crazy. They made a Black Mirror episode about that, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, and so there's, like, all this, like, whole conspiracy thing going on, but I really suggest uh, watching it. It is a really, really, it's it's made by the guy who made The Office in Parks and Rec, but right, it's cool. not the same type of comedy, though. I mean, it's just the same guy. Sure. It's very much, like, it's funny, but it's, like, an overarching story. Sweet. I'd, I'd be but down But the with that. main bad guy of it is the cigarette man from X-Files, which I'm like, that guy was old when he was in X-Files. <laughs> so I had to look it up the other day, and he's like 90 on the show. And he's like doing like funny shit. It's that time like when I saw uh, Anthony Hopkins in the Transformer movie saying and doing non-Anthony Hopkins type of things. Right? Like I really need, if you guys have not seen the uh, Mark Wahlberg Transformers, watch it. It's not for Mark Wahlberg. Just for Anthony Hopkins saying batshit crazy thing, dancing like he's 20 years old. Bunch of bizarre Anthony Hopkins Bizarro stuff. worlds. All right, the spin. So spin. go ahead and take off first. You got to take Space Launcher off. Which we're gonna put in the red. 